In today's demo, I'm going to walk you through one of the key features uh, of Red Hat Views Online that allows you to quickly uh, expose your uh, database over uh, REST interfaces, uh, what is so-called data services. So uh, our scenario, uh, we have a, a database. This database has uh, two tables, so we are going to uh, focus on the to do table. So select star from to do. So this table has three different columns, ID, task, and completed, and we have a set of records already there. So we need to extract the data from to do table and export the data over REST interface. So the starting point in uh, Fuse Online is to create integration. So creating integration uh, by, uh, again, selecting the ABI provider, which is the REST interface. So you can either upload the uh, REST interface definition if you have it in your local drive or uh, you uh, get it direct from uh, online URL or you create it from scratch. So we are going to create one from scratch. Uh, so there is a quick uh, way of doing it by actually uh, adding the uh, data type. Data type is the underlying data type that this REST interface is going to uh, expose, which is the response. So for, uh, again, to define the, the uh, data type, we can simply provide a JSON sample of this data type. So our data type will have one attribute, which is a task ID, and it's numeric. Another one, which is task name, which is string. And last is task completed flag, which is Numeric. Uh, there is uh, one option here, which is the REST resource. If you click on it, so uh, this will uh, allow Fuse Online to create all the standard REST operations to manipulate uh, this data type. So it means uh, we will find all the uh, REST operations required to uh, retrieve the tasks, add uh, new tasks, delete tasks, or update tasks. So by clicking Save, uh, uh, we can see here that slash tasks path already uh, defined and we have the HTTP get that retrieves the list of tasks while uh, when we have the task with task ID uh, parameter through the get again we're getting the specific task so we just need to save this REST interface we give again task REST ABI and then save and continue. So the next step uh, is to create the integration flows. So simply we need to uh, tell Fuse when we hit the REST uh, URL slash tasks what will be the integration flow. So we will uh, first create the tasks flow by clicking on create flow. Here uh, Fuse allows you to add different steps so one of uh, the steps we are going to add here is the database step. So we need to simply uh, go to our database to invoke either a SQL statement or a store procedure. In our case, we will be uh, invoking a simple SQL statement to retrieve data from, so select star from to do table. That's fine. Clicking next. So uh, now uh, what is left is to map from the SQL results to uh, our REST data type, which is the task object we uh, created in the uh, previous step. So for mapping, we just click on again add data mapper task. Fuse Online will open the uh, visual mapping tool that allows you to map from the SQL results to the uh, REST uh, response. So by just drag and drop ID to task ID, task to task name, completed to task complete. As you can see here in the uh, properties uh, panel, right, you uh, get the uh, SQL results completed column now to the uh, response task complete. So once we are done, we just click done and we save this integration flow. The second flow uh, we are going to uh, create as well is slash tasks task ID that retrieves a specific uh, uh, task uh, based on the task ID. So we just click on the task ID. Again, we will be adding the database step. 
and invoking a SQL statement and this time we are going to select star from to do where id equals a parameter which is id and clicking next so there is an important step here which is how to map from the uh, rest parameter task id to the sql parameter id so we'll click again and add and add data mapper so fuse automatically will get us the uh, rest parameters which is the task id and the sql parameters which is the id as defined in the uh, sql statement so we'll just drag task id to id so this means get the parameter passed through the rest interface and assign it to uh, the sql parameter id so done so now we are left with one more step which is again mapping from the sql results to the rest response so we're adding again one data mapper from the sql results so completed again maps to task completed id maps to task id task maps to task name so once we are done save this flow as well so right now we have two flows which is slash tasks using http get or slash tasks slash task id using http get the other one so again the second step is to publish this integration scenario so by clicking publish so fuse online now will be first compiling this integration project which is the assembling all the uh, again the dependencies and build the uh, artifacts and the second step uh, is to build the container image where this integration uh, scenario will be uh, deployed so what is uh, happening now that while uh, fuse is building the uh, container image it will be uh, pushed immediately to uh, OpenShift. So as uh, by end of this build process, we will find uh, again one bot here created where our integration uh, scenario will be uh, deployed and available for uh, end users uh, to access it. So as part of the deployment process also, Fuse will create all the necessary objects uh, and OpenShift required to expose uh, this bot including uh, the surface object as well as the uh, route object so let's go back to uh, fuse online to uh, watch the building uh, process so uh, while fuse is building the uh, integration uh, scenario you can also see that it gives us uh, quick statistics about how many integrations uh, we currently have uh, how many connectors are defined and also uh, in total how many uh, messages uh, have been received either successfully processed or uh, failed and also for each and every uh, integration scenario there will be a set of operations where you can view edit start delete export or even configure the ci cd for this integration scenario we can see in our task rest api integration uh, scenario now the deployment is happening if we go back to openshift good we will figure out that the uh, container image is built right and there is a bot already running and the surface object is created and we have the uh, route created by clicking on this route you just accept the self-signed certificate and we test the first rest operation which is slash tasks So as we can see, we're getting all the uh, tasks in the to-do to uh, table. And the second scenario, we're picking up one of those IDs, let's say 46, 46. So again, Fuse will be uh, selecting uh, the task record of the ID 46. So uh, this was the uh, demo. Uh, and we mainly uh, here showing how to quickly uh, extract data from from your backend databases and export them over uh, REST interface uh, through what is called the uh, citizen integrator uh, experience. As you can see, we didn't write any code, 
and such tools uh, will be uh, really uh, good either for uh, core developers or uh, the citizen de uh, integrators or even uh, business uh, users right uh, so uh, this was the uh, demo for today i hope it explains uh, some of the uh, mid hat use online uh, features and capabilities